March 11, Monday of the first week of Lent A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew Jesus said to his disciples, When the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the angels with him, he will sit upon his glorious throne, and all the nations will be assembled before him, and he will separate them one from another, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will place the sheep on his right, and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you are blessed by my father. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. A stranger, and you welcomed me. Naked, and you clothed me. Ill, and you cared for me. In prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you? Or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked and clothe you? When did we see you ill or in prison and visit you? And the king will say to them in reply, Amen, I say to you, whatever you did for one of these least brothers of mine, you did for me, and these will go off to eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord you did for me. Most of us try to figure out how we can get to heaven, and we strive to do what we think will bring us closer to our goal. But ultimately, as the gospel underlines, when we appear before God on Judgment Day, the most important question we shall be asked is whether we have responded to the needs of the least of the king's brothers and sisters. There will be no theological questions to answer, no quiz on what pertains to our faith. We shall be judged by how much we have witnessed to our faith by deeds of love, especially to the most unfortunate. The Gospel tells us that while there is still time, we ought to manifest the genuineness of our faith by looking after the needs of others. In doing so, we are doing it to Jesus who is present in the least and the disadvantaged. In our desire to go to heaven, are we more concerned about what we and how much we know than what we have done for others in need?